This place is a treasure trove of scientific specimens on row upon row of shells just like this one. There are well over a million of them collected over 300 years. I mean, they haven't even opened some of the parcels yet because there are just so many to get through. And 50,000 of these are what's known as type specimens. And that means they were actually used to give that species its name. This is the very first specimen that Charles Darwin sent here. Now, he sent it to his mentor, Henslow, who was the guy that moved the Botanic Garden from the centre of Cambridge to where it is now. And this he collected in North Wales just a few months before he set sail on the Beagle. And this is called sea stock, which is part of the mustard family. So, Lauren, you're the curator and you've got some of your sort of favourite objects here. And there's a lot of beautiful art here, isn't there, as well as specimens? Yeah, that's one thing that's quite distinctive at, about some parts of this collection. We have a lot of artwork, um, original artwork, hand-painted prints. Congratulations on the award. What difference is it going to make to you? Because I'm assuming it's not more money, for example. <laughs> What it is, is an extraordinary validation and, and verification of the quality of this collection, the content, its research value, um, historically as well as scientifically. Is there a way that ordinary people, if you like, not academics, could have a look at some of the stuff? So we're going to start digitising our collections, getting as many of them up online and available for people to see. Um, that will involve taking photographs of the specimens, transcribing the main key bits of information so people can search for them um, and we'll be getting those up and online later this summer. Now I asked you to get out something that you like and what have you picked? So I picked out some of the specimens in the Oliver Rackham herbarium. This is a really distinctive collection. Um, it's got an estimated 17,000 specimens in it. Here we've got a rhododendron specimen that Oliver Rackham collected when he was 15 years old in 1955. Um, this is an invasive species, so this specimen tells us that this particular plant was growing in that place at that particular time. Then we've got a selection of primulas. Here we've got some oxlip specimens. Um, you can see the colour um, is slightly preserved in the flowers there. Then we, over here we've got some cowslips. And in the middle here we've got um, a hybrid between the two. So these specimens tell us what was growing where and when, and we can see change over time. This is just one particular collection, but we've got extensive British collections, which all add to this huge data set.